Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you one Laravel package, pretty new one, called Laravel Usage Limiter by Nabil Hassan here, and you can follow him on Twitter here, and the package on GitHub is this, Laravel Usage Limiter. It will help you to limit some behavior based on user, for example, this is just one example, and I will show you that in practice. I asked my colleague Modestas to prepare a demo project, but a typical usage is for SaaS project limiting, for example, how many records can user add on a certain plan like bronze plan, gold plan, or something like that. So in this video, I will show you this package in action and also talk about alternatives. What are other packages or should we use package at all for this? case. The installation of the package is very simple. Compose require, you publish and then migrate. And those migrations, what they do, here they are. In the migration, we have limits table, which is configurable also. And also there's another table, model has limits. So what happens is this. In the database, we have limits. And this is what we've seeded after the migration. So bronze, silver and gold plans with allowed amount of adding whatever. In our case, it will be a task list. So five tasks, 10 or unlimited or very big number. And then this table model has limits will contain how many records are already consumed by certain user on certain limit on certain plan. So this is the database structure. In reality, it looks like this. So I register with a new user. I will use fake filler Chrome extension for simplicity. We added that plan to be chosen on registration. This is based on Laravel Breeze, the starter kit. And then we have tasks list. For now, I have zero tasks in my dashboard. But if I refresh that table, we have a record. Model has limit with zero. If I add some task, create task, then refresh, we have one here. And this is the essence of the package. Track the usage for user, for example, but it could be any model. This is polymorphic relation. And then the package adds various helpers and methods to check the usage, check the limit, and enable or disable certain features. So for example, we seeded a few more users behind the scenes. And for example, bronze admin com, which already has limit of five, so five tasks. So if I log in as that user, I will show you that package in action. So tasks, this is shown instead of a button to create a new task. And this is done by specific blade directive of that package. So limit, and you can check if limit of the tasks for current user within the plan name is not reached yet, you have a button. Otherwise, you have a text that you have reached the limit. And also, even if you go to tasks create in the URL, it will allow you to actually see the form or actually you can add the check to here as well. But if I try to enter something, I would get an error in this case forbidden. But again, you can customize it in the task controller, for example, in the store method. In addition to typical form request validation, you can do something like this. User is limit set. If we have any limit, then abort unless user remaining limit of that tasks is bigger than zero. Again, this is just our way to restrict that with 403 forbidden, but maybe it could be a better error message. Let's actually close the sidebar. Then important thing that you need to track the limit yourself. So for example, if store is successful, then you have to call use limit. Or for example, if the task is destroyed, you need to call user unuse limit. And also for the user actually in the model, you need to add has limits as a trait. And then what the package didn't clearly emphasize in the docs, you have to actually create the limit in this case on creation of the user. So this happens on the registration, we have the plan and we set the limit. This is what creates that role for the user, the package doesn't automatically create that. And if we scroll down to various features of the package, as I said, there's trade has limits, then you create the limits. And then there are more features to have that every week, every month or something set limit and set limit use unuse, And then there are a lot of methods is limit set has enough limit remaining limit also artisan commands also blade as I mentioned also schedule resetting and even advanced usage with extending that. So quite a lot of features in the package. That said, it's still early days for that package. It's still version 1.0.0. As I noticed here on the right side, 
and also I didn't see much movement in that package to be honest since the release date. I typically expect people to add more features and react to the community feedback but I guess there was not much feedback although 71 github stars is pretty good as a starter point but if we take a look at commits not much has been happening over the last month or so. So this is one of the open questions that you should ask yourself whether to use that package or not, or in fact any package. I'm not saying that about Nabil doing something wrong. Maybe he's busy with other projects. And remember, this is a free package. This is totally natural for open source. But in general, the general question is, do you need any external package that would save the data of usage of the records? Maybe you can save it yourself and track it yourself in your own database structure. And this is what I've been talking about on Twitter, quoting Matt Stauffer and Taylor Otwell on one of the recent podcasts. Here's my summary of the thought from that episode. One of the most common mistakes people make, Taylor and Matt emphasized relying on external packages when they are not really needed strictly in the first place. Because then what happens, package gets outdated, maybe abandoned, and then you need to upgrade Laravel version and you're stuck or you need some functionality from that package and then the author isn't responsive or doesn't want to fix the issue or merge your pull request or something like that. And then that dependency on external package is really painful. But if you do want to use a package that would help you with SAS tracking of your usage, I have a few more alternatives to show. So one of the packages I reviewed earlier on this channel, and I will link that in the description below, is called Soul B Scription. And this is pretty active with 500 stars and version number four. The usage is pretty simple. Has subscription, pretty similar to the package that I've shown just a minute ago, but this is based on features. So you create a feature and then you have quota for features and then you set consumed quota. Pretty similar, but then you can add plans and then have it more closely to like SaaS logic of plans, trial periods and stuff like that. So this package is mostly for SaaS projects, for managing plans and features outside of the payment system. So the payment system should be handled by yourself, whether it's Stripe, PayPal or your local currency or local provider. And this package would help you with tracking the plans and usages. But also if you need all-in-one solution, both with plans and payments, I would recommend official Laravel Spark as SaaS solution. It's not a free package. It's a tool that you can add to your existing project. And we actually use that in Laravel Daily.com to manage our subscriptions as well. It supports payment providers of Stripe and Paddle. Last time I checked, maybe they added more. No, it's Paddle and Stripe still. And it acts like a separate dashboard in your project so someone logs in and sees their plans and make payments. Disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with Laravel Spark. I don't get paid for mentioning it. I'm just a happy user. That said, Laravel Spark is pretty limited in customization. So if you need some branded dashboard for your project, probably Laravel Spark would limit your visual ideas. So make a choice yourself. Or you can create your own package maybe and then release it to the world. For that, I could offer my own course, How to Create Packages. This is How to Create Laravel Package Step-by-Step -step Example, where I created my own real package of Laravel Permission Editor on top of Spotty Permission. So you can check that out. I will link that in the description below. So what do you think about that SaaS package kind of a topic? So usage tracker as a package or Laravel Spark? What tools do you use for SaaS projects in Laravel? And by the way, I thought to maybe create a course on like how to create Laravel typical SaaS. But my problem with that is, and you can help me with that, is there are so many different logic types, how you can structure SaaS team or no team, trial, not trial, so many different variables who can access that feature and what happens after they don't have that access. A lot of things are very individual. So that course, if we cover a lot of different types of SaaS logic, it would be very long, not to mention payment providers. So Stripe and PayPal and Paddle and now Lemon Squeezy and others, that would be a huge course. So I kind of postponed that idea for now. But if we agree that the community needs that course, maybe I will allocate the time. But from your experience, do you need the course on creating Laravel SaaS? And what are the questions that you would have in that course that I would cover? 
let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.